And we have more updates yet again on the level of preparation for tomorrow's off-cycle election, this time from the South-South, as our correspondent Dobra Timiwood is standing by to bring us up to speed on what's happening at this time. Hello again, Dobra. Earlier on when I spoke with you, you were interacting with uh, Mr. Okutek, I believe, one of the INEC officials, and he assured of uh, deployment of sensitive and non-sensitive material to the locations where the elections will hold tomorrow. Uh, what's the update you have on, on that now? Have the materials been moved? The preparations are still in full swing. The materials, the materials are moving and we've moved away from the INEC office. Now we're at the heart of Yenegwe and we've noticed that the fueling stations, the queue is increasing. As people are making last minute dash to get enough petroleum products to ensure that tomorrow they are not stuck when they go out to vote. Now earlier on, we spoke with the police public relations officer who showed us on time, men being deployed to different areas in Bayelsa State. In fact, the police said they have over 27,000 men on ground across the eight local government areas to ensure that this election tomorrow is actually credible, but most importantly, violence-free. Now, you would agree with me that Bayelsa State has been known for every election cycle to be violence-prone. All hands are on deck to ensure that for this particular election that will take place tomorrow, the violence would be, if not absent, reduced to the barest minimum. Now, people are traveling everywhere, water, land, apart from the air, to ensure that they make last minute dash. The market we went to earlier on today is filled with people buying and others selling to ensure that tomorrow they resist the temptation to trade. Earlier on in March, when we had the uh, House of Assembly election, I showed you at Tombia Market where people were trading on election day. Now, the police has ensured that that does not repeat itself. Hence, they've sent out information to everybody in Bayelsa State, ensure that you do not come out to trade. All you have to do tomorrow is to go to your polling unit and cast your votes. Dobra, and, and one of one other thing that will be important about tomorrow's election is um, the um, ease of access to um, you know coastlands uh, areas that you have to you know uh, cross water to reach. How accessible will those areas be to INEC officials? And of course, um, you know, the police personnel, I wonder if you've inquired about this from um, the police commissioner in Bielsa State and from INEC officials themselves. Now, the truth is, Bielsa State is 80% riverine. So in all preparation, access to the coastlands is very paramount. Now, what has been done is that INEC has worked with every agency that has any relations with coastland transportation to ensure that they have enough boats to transport their men there. Now, other than that, people have also ensured that before the end of today, if you're going to any riverine community, you must have gotten there. So it is not about getting to your polo unit that's in your village tomorrow. All that has to be achieved today. Now, we've also spoke with people, now the drivers who have said that they are booked. They've ensured that everybody that needs to go to their villages, Brass, Sadon Ijo, Nembe, Ekeremo, the riverine areas of Ogbia, everybody is going. Later on in the day, we we'll show you live shots of people traveling to the rural areas in Bielsa State to ensure that they participate in the elections tomorrow. And just to double check that uh, their safety has also been taken care of, particularly those who are visitors, safety being the provision of live jackets, uh, particularly that they have to travel across water. You are referring to live jackets. 
Now you'd understand that when it has to do with safety on the waterways, it is a rule that nobody travels without adorning a life jacket. So now they ensure that for everybody that would have to travel in either of the boats, you must have a life jacket that is provided by the transporters. So as you get into the boat, you'd have to put on your life jacket and remove it when you are leaving the boat. This is to ensure that the number of accidents on the waterways is reduced to the barest minimum. Now, since that practice started, the number of accidents on the waterways has greatly reduced and they are keeping to it. So now, the passengers do not necessarily have to have their own life jackets. Every transporter has enough life jackets to ensure that before you're transporting anybody from Yenagua to any coastal area in Bialsa State, safety measures are put in check. Indeed, that's reassuring ahead of tomorrow. Our correspondent there, Dobrati Miwood, reporting live from Yenagua, the state capital, on the preparations for tomorrow's off-cycle election, the governorship election to be precise, in Bielsa State.